All right, guys, we're back in the booth tonight. I wanted to thank our sponsor of the video, LureBuild.com. Jimmy has excellent blanks, eyes, stencils from Insane Custom Stencils. He has his own brand. Uh, so go check him out, LureBuild.com, for all your painting and lure supply needs. So let's get to it. All right, we are back in the booth this afternoon, and... We're gonna play around with some 3D stencils. Uh, I did a little different technique on this. I actually am using an S-crank for this. And I actually prepared this last night. I did a white Autoborn auto sealer. Then I covered it with a couple coats of titanium white. And then I went over the top with an electric iridescent blue and put some eyes on it. And I went ahead and put a coat of epoxy on it. Um, and the reason this technique's a little bit different, it'll actually give it some more depth when you do your baits. If you'll try this, I'll usually just put a top, you know, my base coat on and one top coat color, and I'll go ahead and put the eyes in because if, even if I get it on the eyes, I can wipe them off because they've already got epoxy over them. So we're going to play around with this 3D stencil I have and see what we can come up with. So we'll... Go ahead and get it in. The good thing about it is once you epoxy it, it's not going to scratch it up. It'll be a snug fit, a little bit snugger than normal because you have the epoxy on it. But we'll go ahead and clamp this down and get these little clamps at the Dollar Tree. And we'll lay this down. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to do it in titanium white. Even though I've got the base white on it, I think it'll still show. We're gonna see, I'm gonna play with it. So let me load the gun up. And I'm gonna be on about, oh, 20, 25 pounds of pressure. And this is a little different. Um, when I did the, um, the brim stencil with the lines, I kind of used it at the top and faded it down. This is a little different because of the way it is. So I'm just gonna hold it. I'm just gonna hold it up like this. Well, that compressor is fixing to die, so I'm gonna be getting a new one soon. So we're gonna just hit this straight on, um, and we'll see what we can come up with. that dry and we'll clean my gun out and I'm going to do something a little different here I'm going to put a little bit of black in my gun and I'm going to kind of shade highlight one side of these and give that a see what it comes out see if I can give it a different look so I'm gonna switch to my detail gun. Put a little bit of reducer in. I hadn't used it today. I just got in the shop here. I wanted to play around a little bit. It's been a good week of painting. Man, I've seen a lot of great lures um, on the groups. Jonathan, Whitney, Ross, Russell. I mean, I've seen some great lures this weekend that they've done. Man, they just, they're outstanding painters. They just do a great job. 
So we're gonna let that dry. I mean, I'm, matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna heat set this really quick. Excuse me, just for just a minute. I'm not gonna, you know, when you look at this stencil, it's got some bigger holes and then these little teeny ones, the little teeny ones I'm not gonna be able to do. They're just too small. So what I'm gonna try to do is, is just do a little bit on these bigger ones, just to give it a different look. So it's not just white and I may have to take something and and fix these others. So what I'll do is I think I'll I'll hit the top sides of them. Any one that I can actually get in there on and not make the whole thing black. That's when it really pays to have a little bit of control over your gun. different look and we'll do the same on the other side and we'll just see how that comes out effect all right so what we'll do well let me see if I can get a few of these okay all right let's see what we got I don't know I've never done this we fixing to find out it actually came out really cool looking. It gives it a 3D look. Kind of a 3D frog type looking deal. Just wanted to kind of do something a little different to show you a different technique. Um, it's not gonna be a long video. And I think what I'll do to get on um, and like I said, that's just a that's just a little technique of kind of shadowing the top of it to kind of give it a, a, a different look. You could actually use this same technique um, for a frog with different colors. I just wanted to do some different colors. I do a lot of green, yellow, brown. I just wanted to do something a little different. And plus, when you do these lures and you epoxy them and then come back the next day and spray over that, it really gives it a, a really unique look. Um, and you can do this with um, any any of the patterns, any kind of, you can do it with the Russ Allen stencils. It doesn't have to be a 3D stencil. It can be, um, it can be any kind of stencil. Uh, and just some, a different technique for you to try. This thing ain't gonna wanna stay in there. Uh, I got 
to clean it out. I've gotten some epoxy in there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my gun out. Let's see what I got here. Until I can get this gun cleaned out, I'll just use one of these. I got my other one in here right here. This is a little bit easier to work with. Um, but it's a cool effect. Hope, you know, like I said, it's um just something different for you to try. It uh it'll give it a three-dimensional look. And we can actually do something on the top also. I can take um a little bit of um the same pattern we used last night with um oh uh, let me just clean this out and get a well, I can just I'll leave the black in that gun. I'll get my other gun. We can take a little bit of white. And just do the crown where you're not kind of like what we did with the, the lure last night with the um with the green goblin is not you know you don't want to take um you don't want to take the green out of it like I don't I don't want to take the blue out of this so what I'll do is I'm gonna take it out to do this and the good thing about it is when you use that 3D stencil it's gonna be perfect it's the all the spots are going to be lined up and i'll take this and i'll wrap it and i'll just do the very top of this i'm not gonna i don't need to hold it that long i'm just going to do a little section of white on um on the top of this and then i'm gonna come back Now what I'll do, I'm going to switch guns. I'm still going to hold this. I hate doing this when I ain't got my, my little lure holder. Now I'm going to switch to the black. And then I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run right down the middle. Just a little thin line of black. Where it'll all show. And we'll stop. I'll put that up and I'll undo it for you. And this is, like I said, it's a just a, a kind of a cool technique. Just something different to paint. You may call that a, I don't know, some type of frog pattern. Let me take this off. Get this done. I need to clean these guns out while this dries but it's kind of a cool looking pattern. I don't, I don't paint a lot of blue. I wanted to do something a little bit different, but blue and black does catch fish. Um, this will be a short video. I'll probably do another one this evening, but I'd already done this and I wanted to kind of share this technique with you if you've never done it, where you actually put your base coat on, put your one color, put your eyes in, go ahead and epoxy it. And it gives it a three-dimensional look. It can take some of your lures to a different level just by doing this simple trick. Um, by going and putting the epoxy into it. it uh, it's a very neat little technique. It's not hard to do. I mean, it's easier to it, it is easier to do with the 3D stencil because you don't really have to line it up. You know, you put the 3D stencil on, you know it's going to be in the same spot. When you do, when you do another, you know, like a, a Cricut cutout stencil or one like, you know, Russ or Whitmore Farms, I mean, you can still do it and have great results with it. Um, but the thing is, it's going to be a little bit more work. You're going to have to line it up and um, and take your time doing it uh, to get the effect that you're wanting. And all I did was pretty much just kind of put a little shadow in the top and and it turned out really good i just wanted to do some different colors today like i said i get you get so 
I mean, locked up on doing certain colors, and I do because I'm not selling them. I'm putting them in my tackle box, but um, but I still like to do different things. And I don't do a lot of blue. I don't do a lot of black and blue, but black and blue jigs catch fish, and, and this is kind of a neat technique. It does give it a very cool 3D effect. And I will go ahead now, and we'll put this back in this, and we'll hit it with... Um, some UVLS. Well, that's what it looks like without the, without the, and it gives it a really wicked 3D looking effect. Um, kind of a neat looking crankbait. I love S cranks. They're my favorite, so I'm kind of partial to them. So let me get a little, I've already got some mixed up. I forgot I already had some here. Just gotta get my gun. I'm gonna put a little bit around this and let it dry. Uh, and then put another coat of epoxy over it and it really will give it a cool effect. So if you haven't tried that, um, you need to uh, give that a shot. Give it a try. You can buy the 3D stencils all over. A lot of guys have them. Oh, I got the S-Cranks from Jimmy. Um, so definitely go to lurebuild.com. Uh, the 3D stencils you can get from Cedar Grove. You can get from Carrie White at Backwater. Um, I actually did get this one from Carrie. So they're very nice very different kind of give you a little bit of an edge trying something new and i didn't have this one uh, so he does have those um so go check them out and try something different you know get it get in the booth and uh try this double epoxy technique it's kind of a crazy looking mystic looking frog but uh Hit the like button, subscribe. I appreciate it. We just hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to do a, a giveaway here soon. So hit the like button. Give me some comments. Tell me what you want to do. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.